lot of presents. <laughs> hey girls! So, I finally, finally, finally got the Naked 3 palette and I have been so excited to get this ever since it came out. It came out, I think, about two months ago and I wasn't actually going to get it. I got it as a present and um, I was going to kind of hold off and be like, no, you've got enough eyeshadows, girl. I needed some naked in my lap. So out of tune on my gird. <laughs> I am obsessed with the first the original naked palette. I never got number two just because I always felt that one and two were very similar and I'm very happy with one. It's a perfect neutrals palette and um, so versatile, so many different looks that you can achieve with it. Daytime, nighttime. And so yeah, Naked 3 came out. I heard talk of it, you know, around the interwebs and I was like, what's the big deal? But then I found out that it is a rose toned palette. For those of you who don't know too much about, you know, cool tones, warm tones, yada yada yada. The colours in the Naked 3 palette are really really geared towards girls like myself who are cool toned with, you know, with blue eyes, green eyes. This is just so suited to my colouring so that's why I was super excited to get it. Um, however, I have watched a lot of tutorials from other girls on YouTube um, with, you know, brown eyes, blonde hair, um, darker skin and they've all said that they still really love the look of these colors so I was so excited to try them out and give them a go. So I'll just show you here the colors that come in this palette and um, they've got really interesting names actually. Okay so we've got Strange which is the highlight color then we have Dust, Burnout, Limit, Buzz, Trick, Nooner, <laughs> Nooner, <laughs> Nooner, Nooner, Liar, Factory, Mugshot, dark side and my absolute favorite out of the palette black heart all these colors are extremely feminine girly romantic pink toned neutrals there are some mattes in there and there's also a few satin shades and i'll also show you how they swatch on the skin so that's them all there on my lovely arm you know wrecking the buzz <laughs> great time cleaning up after that but uh yeah so this is what it looks like anyway um beautiful packaging as to be expected from urban decay to the shadows themselves they all swatch extremely well like they're all very very buttery that real lovely high quality texture that you always get from this brand the only one i kind of had an issue with was um this one here the second one dust Um, i just found it a little bit kind of glittery and like like naggy or sticky on my skin I don't I don't know it, it it seems a bit hard to work with I've tried it a few different looks with it so far and it's a little bit eh, but having said that it's still a beautiful color my favorite one in this entire palette is black heart the darkest one because it's like a really rich chocolate color but it has red glitter like a red kind of Julie undertone to it and it just makes it so rich and so different and so vibrant I was expecting to love this palette and I instantly fell in love with it like there's literally nothing bad I have to say about this it's perfect for skin coloring like me and that would explain why this is so popular in Asia and you know um, with a lot of paler girls this is something I would highly recommend to anyone for you know romantic date nights and um, I was just literally drooling over this when I saw all the girls uploading um, Valentine's Day looks with it and stuff I was like oh and it comes with a really cool brush actually um, this is actually a double sided brush and it has a flat side one and a shady side one Woohoo! I'm gonna show you here one of the looks that I've been really loving ever since I got this it's a very wearable look and you know you can bring this from day to night by just adding some more of the dark beautiful chocolatey ready glittery color in the crease line but yeah if you want to see how I've been loving wearing the naked three palette colors on my eyes recently just keep on watching So to start off what you want to do is apply either a concealer or a eyeshadow primer all over your lid and this will help your eyeshadow to last all day long. Using the fluffier end of the Naked 3 brush, apply the highlighter colour Strange all over the lid right up to the brow bone. This acts as a bleeding super sexy base.
Then using the same brush I went over the base colour with Burnout and then a little bit of Dust as well. These are the next two colours in the palette. They're very subtle feminine colours. Using my new E25 blending brush by Blank Cosmetics, I'm taking the colour Limit, which is my favourite, favourite crease shade now. It's just such a natural colour and this is a really wearable everyday colour. If Even if you were to go over this with nothing else and no darker colours, this just really adds some depth to your eyes and it's beautiful on brown eyes, green eyes, blue eyes, grey eyes, all the eyes! So work as little or as much as you want or need into your crease and you'll know by your eye shape how far to go up with this. So there's lots of videos you can YouTube about how to find your eye shape and how to work colours into your crease accordingly. I'm now going in with this sexy bastard. It's a black heart. It is the Christian Bale of eyeshadows. It's dark and mysterious. Yes, yeah, so with the flat end of the Urban Decay brush, I am just kind of filling this out along the outer third of my eye on the top. And then I'm kind of flicking it out into a wing, a real soft, gentle wing. All this is going to be blended out. Then I'm dragging it up a little bit above my crease and all this is going to then be blended out with the blank canvas brush and yeah it'll marry everything together guys i'm sorry you know me you know my voices i can't help it things just happen when i have a microphone in front of me okay then taking some of the color on my finger I'm just gonna pat that all over the lid mainly in the center and this will just kind of add a little pop of shimmer it makes it a lot more pink and pretty and makes it stand out more then after cleaning off the blank canvas brush I'm using the same brush again to drag strange along the inner corner of my eye and up along the brow bone again just to highlight everything and make it stand out a little more lining my lash line using the flat end of the Urban Tree brush and some dark side. It gives the appearance of thicker, fuller lashes. And then finally I'm getting a little bit more limit and I'm kind of brushing that all over the whole lid over all the eyeshadows and this kind of makes it look a little bit more uniform and just because Limit is my favourite colour it's just such a beautiful beautiful rose hue and I like to yeah top everything off with that. This Catrice liner is idiot proof. Idiot proof! Get it? Try it out. I'm telling you now it's so much easier than many of the other um, liquid eyeliners because sometimes they're just disastrous and you just get it all over your face. This one makes you feel like a pro fish.
The Great Lash Mascara is actually my all time favourite and it's such a cult beauty buy and it's so cheap and it's been out since like the 70s. I remember seeing this first in that TV show, that 70s show and I was like I gotta get me some of that. But yeah it's really good, it just separates all your lashes and it doesn't look too fake, it's not clumpy. White liner pencil for the inside of your eyes. Yeah, that's the look finished, guys. It's very date night. It's a really big, doe-eyed look. Very quick, very easy to do. And yeah, let me know if you try it and let me know what you think of the Naked 3 palette, please, because I want to hear your opinions. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I'll see you again in the next video, okay? Bye.